Hello there everyone, the chosen individual here with another video. Now, today is a big day because I have spent over a week designing every tiny, careful, minute detail of this. The nuclear laboratory. Now, oh, lag. Now, this is one project that I've been wanting to take on for a long, long time, but I've been distracted by both passion projects and other things that I've been doing around the channel. Like, for example, the Two Strongest MTF video, and uh, playing Secret Lab for fun. I'm sorry, I have no self-control, okay? Anyway, so today we're gonna begin building this masterpiece, hopefully. So the floor is going to be made of concrete tiles, and the uh, walls and roof are going to be made of concrete. Very, very standard and basic. We need to weld it to fill in this little corridor. It has nuclear weapons, spent fuel pools, um, Chicago piles, breeding reactors, research reactors. And I'm planning to add a Xernox reactor, because I am definitely not going to finish this just today, so... Who knows? Stay tuned for that. Um, set 634. There we go. The floor is now made of concrete tiles. Concrete tiles are arguably the best. Although there is also something called the laboratory tiles. Which are also pretty good. And actually look more like a lab. Actually, you know what? Let me just go ahead and, and replace that. <laughs> Actually no, no. I'll make I'll make this out of um out of uh, laboratory tiles and then the other ones will be made out of concrete. So uh, the only problem is that these are extremely expensive. They require three asbestos sheets and uh six bricks, which is not for everyone, but hey. I have creative mode. Can you really blame me? Yes, yes, you can. Let me just re grab the concrete tiles that I seem to have destroyed. And also, some uh, hazard lines. <coughs> also, as you can see, I, can also, I also have um, colored concrete in my inventory. Now, that is for a special purpose, and it's mostly for decoration. Now, room one the Chicago pile. So, I've already covered this before on my channel. Very simple, just grab a lot of blocks of graphite and some hand drills. And just start making a shape like this. It doesn't have to be like this, I just like the efficiency of this method and the fact that it will probably not explode since I haven't made one of these in a while. But yeah, just dig out this. There we go. And now fill this all in with graphite. Is it just me or does the graphite sound super satisfying? Before I thought designing reactors in Minecraft was very satisfying before starting the channel. But now that I have tried it, I have to say I was partially right. I mean, it's kind of satisfying when you finally get it, but it's very frustrating, and as a person who doesn't have a lot of patience, it really gets to me. Anyway, so once this uh, whole shape is filled out, just grab hand drills and uh, go to town. You know, just start right-clicking on everything. It's hard to breathe here, and that's because I don't have the proper gas mask equipment, but I assume you do. Keep digging, and it should have these nice little holes present on it. <clears throat> Try the quick ASMR. I'll just get rid of this coal dust. And that is one Chicago reactor done. Now, I'm not going to explain the history of the Chicago reactor, because I already explained it in my original video, which I think was one of the first I ever posted on this channel. 
And, well, if you don't know how Chicago Paul works, then I'll just be leaving the link down below so you can go and watch it. I'm not explaining it again. Seriously. Maybe in the comments. But, like, no. Or, or maybe. Anyway, so we'll just grab some blocks of graphite. Fill this all out like we're doing an arts and crafts project. There we go. Now just go to town again. This could be a good structure for an RBMK reactor. It'd be fun. Oh, by the way, I released a teaser on my Discord server. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Here, all the coal. And now we have two Chicago Power Reactors. <clears throat> Let me just grab some crates. And these will be just sitting here. Next to the reactors. And they will hold all the fuel, the control rods, everything. I'm not going to fill them out because I've already done that. And now just, um... Or should I do duck root tiles instead? I feel like duck root tiles kind of look better. Rather than concrete tiles, which I've been used to death. Mm, yeah. Whoops. That is the wrong block. There we go, that's more like it. See, it kind of has a factory charm to it, you know? Alright, so that's room one. Now, room two. Breeding and research reactors. So, if I'm not wrong, the research react and breeding reactors are exactly the same height. They are about three blocks long. So, we're just gonna grab this. One, two, three, four, there we go. And then we'll just set that to water. Oh, whoops. And we'll grab our breeding reactor and place it right here in the middle, surrounded by research reactors. And there we go. That's how you make a breeding reactor. Just place some hazard around these. Uh, uh, what should we call it? Typo things. So that it looks good and not bad. Boom. One, two, three, four. Did I do five or four? I can't remember. I did uh, five. Okay, so one more. <coughs> I think I did this a bit too deep. <laughs> this is just a thought, you know? This is just something to think about. Now, the smart thing to do here would have probably been to turn this all into concrete before putting the reactors inside, but... Hey. It's your reactor, man. It's your choice. So just give me a second with the power of editing. Alright, that's one. Now rinse and repeat with this one. I know this is extremely boring. I should just give out measurements and let your imagination run wild rather than doing this stuff. But hey, I want to put the efforts in. Who's going to stop me? Myself, probably. Breeding reactor. 
one, two, three, three, four. Okay. I just have one left. One, two, three, four. I think that alternatively you can just play pro ball like me and just. That is the wrong one. Uh, there we go. There we go. See, that saves so much time. And it also fills in the corners, which I guess is not necessarily, necessarily, necessary, but you can do it. No one is stopping you, except me. Alright, now we'll just finish filling in the hazard stripes. The particle accelerator plating for hazard stripes is probably one of the greatest and most and smartest um, inventions in this mod. Of course, the magnetic fusion reactor and the dark fusion core also count. I just find these a bunch more useful. Now I'll just. World edit this in. Almost typed in the wrong command again. There we go. So that's room two done. Oh man, it's woken up it's super early. It's nine a.m. <laughs> Okay, uh, so now, room three. Nuclear research. Now, I know you might say, Chosen, that's a dumb name. This entire laboratory is dedicated to nuclear research. Calm down, I know what I'm doing. Except I don't. This is gonna look good. So... Some of you may or may not have seen that. Oh, wait. I just realized something. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Now, back to what I was saying. Some of you may or may not have seen the Rebel Rebels vs. the Illuminati series. Now, it is a pretty good Minecraft show. Yes, showcasing the Re Rebels mod that I. Used to watch a really, really long time ago, and I was like six or seven years old. And in that show, in the very first episode, it references HBMs. And basically, there's like this nuclear laboratory that has a bunch of bombs in it. And that's kind of what inspired me to make this. Yeah, that's literally it. Alright, so we'll grab some. Rival Rebels crates for good measure. Let me just grab some uh, explosives crates. That should be enough. Some computers as well. And now some nuclear tech mod bombs, like for example, the Czar. Or or um Fat Man. Or, uh, what is it called? Flea, no. That's the Flieger Faust, and it's nothing to do with this. Um, the little boy here? Yeah, apparently. And, um, what well, oh, oh, well, the bombs even are there? I don't remember. Uh, there we go. The blue rings, Plasia, that's what I was trying to type. The prototype. The Ivy mic. What's this? Custom nuke, bell fire bomb. We do not want to detonate that. Mm. Well, I guess I'm going for the Plasia. Or the prototype, maybe. There we go. Now it looks okay. 
Now, obviously, we're not going to fill these out because that would be an absolute disaster if any of them went where to went off to go off, even if I can pronounce if I can say it correctly. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some beautiful uh, uranium and plutonium hexafluoride tanks. Of course, empty. Just going to place what? Just going to place fat man here. And uh, have a little, you know, tower. Nothing too big. This is dictating how high this lab is going to be, which is an absolute. Just terrible to me. Now that I think of it, this tower isn't exactly like how I saw it. I don't exactly remember how I saw it. Set some explosive crates. There we go. Zara's gonna be uh, hanging from the ceiling, so a uh, prototype can be here. There we go. Maybe you could also grab some good old centrifuges, gas centrifuges to be exact. And I don't want this to look too full. You know what I mean? Maybe Fat Man can be replaced by two centrifuges and fat man will instead go uh, here no here is that clipping through the wall it is clipping through the wall fantastic um just a bit more there we go nope oh there okay and Zara is going to be still hanging from the ceiling, so let's make a uh, about a razzle dazzle height. That's a bit too much. And we'll just grab some uh, uh, iron bars. No, that extends upwards and looks terrible. Maybe some chain link. That could work. Oh, what are these metal chains? Which are apparently not, not, not placeable. Chain link fence. Give me the chain link fence. The chain link fence. There we go. And. Uh, okay, I think this is gonna be the roof. I think that's that'll be okay. Place star right here. That is probably a bit too low. Hold on, I'm tinkering with the measurements. Give me some time. That looks good. That looks good enough to me. Perfect. I know Zara is hanging from nothing at this point, but I do not worry, it'll be fixed soon. I didn't get to place the prototype, and also I for seem to have forgotten the computers. So let's just... There we go. I like the cool little animation that plays. It's it's pretty cool. And the prototype will have to be unfortunately discarded. Now let's go on to Hold on, give me a sec. Let's read to let let uh, let us go in onto section uh, subsection 01. This will be simple, nothing fancy. Just a small hole. 
I realized that this room may be a bit too small for that purpose. Is the evidence around here? No, okay, I've traveled so far that the evidence is no longer here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you... There are things that are better left, not said. Okay. I don't want to have to do this, but it forced me to. I don't want to make it look ugly, but... I have no choice. Alright, so I'll just be a 3x3 three three and these will be hazard block. whoops, these will be hazard blocks. And we're going to make an underground metal isolation chamber where we can uh, successfully store our waste. Anyways, that's how that works. We'll just grab some trapdoors. Uh, oh wow, there are actually quite a lot. Uh, I'm just going to stand one. Why not? There are two iron trapdoors. That's great. Now we'll just go ahead and grab our nuclear waste disposal drums and place them here. These are not. These are not to be confused with the nuclear waste pools, which are much different. Now I'll just make this concrete to block out the radiated, to block out the spicy air. I'm sorry that I'm Whoops, and then I am like, you know, doing that so much, it's because I'm still somewhat left over sick. Wow. Wow. I'm still kind of sick, so I hope you can excuse that. Speaking of being sick, have you guys ever had a nap so good that you think you slept till the next day yeah yeah that, that's kind of how sick i am at this point i should have probably done the floor first i'll just um change it with my chosen uh stair magic now i also finished some details and changed the design and fill the water, but that's just the side effects of my stairs. That just kind of happens from time to time. Now I'll just set the floor. If I'm, I am mistaken, it's 639. There we go. I'll just finish this up. And so there's supposed to be some sort of high security door here. Like, I don't know about you, but I would place some reinforced doors or a fire door or something like that. Something that looks like it's designed to hold radiation. And that's pretty much all the rooms. There will be an extra room for the Xernox reactor in theory, but... Yeah, I think the best made room was probably this one. All the other ones just look kind of empty, you know? But, uh, that, that's just another side effect. It's nothing to be scared of. Remember, you can design this to your liking. I'm just giving you examples. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Um, so that has been part one. Part 2 will feature the actual construction, you know, lifting it up the ground, 
And part of three will cover the outside because I have some plans for that one. I have nearly 30 minutes of um, of raw unedited footage which I have to edit. It's going to be a pain, but do not worry. Oh, it'll, it'll be fine, probably. Anyways, thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Sorry for not uploading for so long. Peace out, gamers.